Hello everyone, I'm, uh, this is my first tutorial video. Uh, I'm doing a Jack Russell today, and what I'm doing now is laying down a base coat of yellow ochre using a, a number 10 um, pointy brush. Uh, I haven't been uh, formally trained, so I don't really know what they're all called, but pointy brush it is. And this is just giving, basically blocking out all the color areas I'm going to use. Now, what I do when I'm doing this is I actually block it out using brush strokes that go in the direction of the fur. So what I'm doing here is um, this is using a, a mixture of uh, burnt umber and yellow ochre. I put a bit of black in there and then a bit of white and kind of fiddled around to get a, a nice golden brown. Um, again, you can see what I'm using here is a um, a smaller brush, the uh, the four number four pointed brush, and what I'm doing, I'm just laying all the base color down in the direction of the fur. Okay, so this isn't the fur itself; it doesn't look furry, but what it does is it does help with that fur directionality, give the, the textures and the tones of the fur to look like it's vaguely realistic. So it makes adding the fur later with the smaller brush far easier. So. What I'm doing now is I'm transitioning to the uh, number one brush, just for the uh, finer details of the fur, putting in some of the, the darker colours. And so this is essentially the routine from now on. What I've got here is I'm just putting in some of the highlights using a number zero brush or a number one. Um, let's just have a look here. It's a number two. Okay, so nailed it. Um, it's a number two brush, pointed brush. Adding in some highlights. This is a, the first set of highlights for the fur, the first bit of direction for the fur. Um, the eyes, of course, are pretty standard. That's using my number one brush. And I'm also doing some of the detailing with my double zero, which is a very fine one, just to try and get the eyes as accurate as possible. My experience has taught me that get the eyes right and you can basically make a complete mess of everything else um, but make the rest of the drawing great and get the eyes wrong you might as well chuck it away it all comes down to the eyes so for the tongue I'm just using a bit of uh, bright red mixed with white to get a light pink color shading it using a bit of black mixed with uh, ultramarine blue which is really my go-to for the black. Same with the nose and the eyes. All the details are done with ultramarine uh, blue mixed with black. Just it makes it blacker. And if I'm just shading, I'll use solid black because that'll uh, glaze well over top of the other colours. But when I'm going for a nice deep black, like the black of the eyeballs and the inside of the nostrils, I'll use a mixture of ultramarine and black. So detailing it in now with the these. Most of the work I do from now on is going to be with the one or the uh, double zero pointy brushes. Um, and what I do now is whenever I fill anything in with these brushes, I do the edges like fur. So I make the edges up of a bunch of really fine lines. And because really that's where you notice the difference in the fur. Uh, where you notice the fur at all is where it contrasts with another colour. Um, the solid areas of fur aren't too much of a, a challenge. It's really with the edges where the detail becomes evident. And this is another trick. The uh, eyelashes and the whiskers really, they add a level of detail that make it nice and realistic. I enjoy adding the whiskers and eyebrows and eyelashes. They really make it come to life. I think they're second only to the eyes as far as uh, making the painting look realistic. Uh, after reviewing the, the picture, after a couple of days, I looked at this and realised that the shadow areas were too light, so I went straight over top of that with a, a uh, burnt umber mixed with black and glazed that to make it dark. Um, the leather on the collar was basically the same colour as the uh, texture of the dog. Sorry, the colours I've used on the dog, so that's um, made the palette quite limited but I think a limited palette adds to the realism. For the chrome buckle here, I um, 
it had a lot of shadow in it so I used ultramarine blue with a bit of black and uh, some white highlights and uh, yeah it comes out fairly well um, but again my color palette here really apart from black and white which you know standard is all just yellow ochre burnt umber and ultramarine blue plus a little bit of a little bit of red for the for the tongue so the collar what I'm doing here is adding the uh, stitching on the collar little white stitches and to give them a bit of real bit of um, depth I actually shadowed the stitches with a wee bit of black which um, using the triple zero or double zero brush uh, which we'll see shortly here we go yeah it's a bit hard to tell in this video but uh, they just really made it quite lively this is the um, this is white chest with a few dark hair details and that's what I'm putting in here so you can see that the uh, it's not white because it has to contrast with the paper it's on but um, there we go he's a very handsome little fella